Okay, it looks like we're recording. All right, so hey everyone, P with the Pro here. So before we get started, I do have a confession to make. I did try my best to fix Microsoft, but uh, what happened was that the service for my college that's running Microsoft, it uh, shut down, so I couldn't get free access, not until maybe fall. So it's gonna be, so I won't be able to show you guys how to make a graph in real life, but I do have them right now, and I'll show it to you guys later on. But for now, as you can see in this table, you have uh, five expenses on each uh, date for a month. And these numbers seem to be all jumbled up and confusing. And of course, you have the total at the bottom. So what we need to do is to organize these numbers. So how are you going to do that? Simple, making a graph. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, and now is the best time to pause this video and look back at the previous one. So it seems that you have looked back at the last video and seen how graphs look like. So as you can see are the five expenses. So what we have here yeah, over there is what they call a key. Now it's not like a keychain or or car key. The key is like what kind of uh, objects they are. So for, for instance, expense one is probably purple-ish. Expense two, scion. Expense three, orange. Expense four, magenta. Expense five, red. So let's look at January. So expense one, there's $33. Expense two, $238. Expense four, four twenty six, and expense five, fifty four dollars, and the total is eight hundred sixty one. So up top, you have a bar graph. Now a bar graph is more likely to figure out which one of these expenses have the have the highest to the least, you know, the lowest. Same thing to February, March, April, May, and June. Now, of course, there aren't any in July, August, September, October, and November, probably because of some kind of holiday or something like that. And we have December. So what we have? So let's look at the trending of each uh, date or month. So for expense one, a total for expense one is $1,263. And as you can see on the trending, we have, that looks like it's $33 for January. February looks like it's three seventy five. March back to thirty three dollars. April to forty five. May to three seventy five. June two oh one. Yeah, going down a little. And July to November zero. And December back up to two oh one. 
So on the trending is similar to the line graph. It's probably for analyzing the data annually or daily, monthly, or weekly. And find out if it's gain if it's increasing or decreasing. So let's look at the total for January. January and February, it's $861. March is 574. April 817. May 977. June 1049. And July to November 0. December 1049. And the total is 6118. That's a lot of money. So, what we have here is a pie graph, or you could call it a circle graph, and they represent the total amount of dollars or expenses annually. And down here are the differences, the difference of each expenses. Now for the annual total. By the way, if you're hearing the background noise, from outside, outside of my room, that's probably my parents watching TV and my sister's cooking, well, not cooking, uh, just making breakfast for my parents. It's Sunday, Sabbath day. So yeah, no big deal. So as I was saying, the annual total of each months are representing the totals and as you can see June and December have the most and March has the least well actually November October September August and July have the least didn't realize that sorry about that and of course you have the key for each of the months now the difference of expensive expenses, that's probably, yeah. oh yeah, that's okay, it's the total. So, so the percentage is how much, how much more or how much less these expenses are. So, 888, it has the lowest, so that means the percentage is lower. So let's say you're not able to use a calculator and that to find out how to figure out the percentage. Let me bring it. We pull out one note right here. Can you guys see it? No, you can't. Uh, give me a sec. All right, quick guys there. Sorry about that. It seems like you might do need a calculator. But uh, yeah, these numbers seems a bit too complicated. So, so you divide the current expenses, like 888, which is expense number five, 
and divide by the total expenses at $6,188. And that equals 14.3, 14, uh, about 14.4%. And that's how you find the percentage. It's a real it's really straightforward, but as long as you know as long as you know the arithmetic and the business style of charting graphs, all kinds of them, and tables as well. And you can get a hang of it while using Microsoft Excel. And again, I do apologize for not showing you guys how to make Microsoft Excel. Something went wrong with my Microsoft Office free access. But um, yeah, I do apologize for that. Now, before I go, I have I did say that there's a quick update. Now, let me see. First off, I do have a VIP uh, customer from my college, and he needs my help on pre-calculus. And I'm actually honored to help him very well. So what I could do is make some videos of pre-calculus and trigonometry and maybe some algebra for you guys as well. And hopefully it's a great success for, for him. And I do wish him luck, lots of luck. So, I'm not sure how long I'll be going back to uh, teaching you guys some um, arithmetic or decimals, but uh, it's, again, it's VIP. He's a VIP uh, customer, so it's first priority. Precalculus is first priority. And he really needs my my help. So hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I happen to recreate an intro by I'm almost done recreating an outro. So Stick around for that. I'll see you guys next time. Shalom and God bless America.